Welcome to another double shot where we film at Bonneville, Seattle. We have MyNorthwest.com here, plus the three radio stations, KTTH, Cairo FM, and Seattle Sports. Yeah. It should not be as perilous to pee in this building as it has become for me. I am someone who has a very, very, very shy bladder. If I even I think- I do too. I do right, too. We do both you really? Do. If I even think someone's going to come into the bathroom yeah. at the same time, I'm not going to be able to pee. And if someone is at the urinal and then I try to go pee in the stall so they don't see me, but if I notice that they do this, a little pee, and they know who I am, I can't pee because then I'm worried about my stream. Here's the other problem that you have: being a judge. Oh, yeah, yeah, you right? want to have a stream. I judge people who you got to have a strong stream but, for but, sure. But when you get the sometimes, I'll bring a squeeze bottle in with me just so people think it's me. <laughs> Is that what that was? I yeah. always wonder what go, that was. Golly, but, that guy's got a strong. But, but we all we all do that, right? When someone has a little dribble and it stops. Yeah, and I'm then judging them all dribble, the time. I'm judging that person, and I don't want to so be that I. person. But you're going to force me into it because of my pee shyness. However, here's my here's my big issue. Yeah. Lately. Because I only go number one here. I would never think number two is disgusting. And the only people who go number two are into the one stall bathroom that now has signs that says, don't put other things outside of toilet paper into the toilet before you flush. I actually, Make sure you fully flush and you spray. I got, I got a, uh, a trick for you. Can I give you a trick and to the audience at well, home? Well, give too? it to them. I don't need it. No, no, this is for you too. Because sometimes, I mean, you I know, don't do sometimes it. Sometimes you drink you a lot it. of coffee and coffee does what coffee does. You, you got to go to bathroom at work and you can't get all the way home. Like I can't, I live far from here. So I got to, sometimes you just have to bite the bullet. I have a sign that I print up and I keep at my desk and it says out of order. And I will walk in, mm. I will put it on the door. Anybody knows when they walk in, oh, this bathroom's out of order. I can't go in this bathroom right now. Yeah. Little do they know, I'm inside enjoying some peace and quiet, doing what I need to do. I leave, I wash my hands very thoroughly, and then I walk out, I grab my sign, put it back in my desk. The problem is, however, when you put up that sign, someone's going down there, right? Now they're gonna think it's gonna be out of order for the day. And so then they go into the other bathroom where I used to go number one. And I went in today to go number one and it smelled so bad. Yeah. I then started to get self-conscious about someone else coming in while I'm peeing thinking it was or you. while I'm coming out thinking it was me. And the and problem is do. you are always bragging about your unique shoes. Everybody knows that you've got the coolest shoes because you got such a shoe sure. collection. Look at these. And so you look, yeah, hold that shoe up, Forrest Gump. Look at that thing. No, you can't. Good Lord. <laughs> That's insane. You running across the country in those? These are nice. Ridiculous. They're so comfortable. Ridiculous. Yeah. They're gonna recognize those shoes and they're gonna know it was Jason who messed up the bathroom. Yeah, but as I'm walking out, that's the problem is someone else is gonna come in at the exact same time <laughs> and we're gonna just make eye contact and I'm gonna feel the need to say, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. You're gonna go in and you're yeah. gonna realize what it was, but it was not me. It wasn't me. Please, it wasn't go, me. Cool shoes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next time.